Uh, yeah, so my name is Jamie. I run the Summer Hall Drinks Hub, which is where we are right now. Uh, I have worked for the Juniper Festival for the last, well, this would be my fourth year now, actually, in the previous uh, few years, helping to run and organise and curate the festival. And now this year, uh, I'm thankfully in the, uh, in the driving seat uh, for, the, for the festival of 2019, which is very, very exciting. Uh, previously, I'd been running the talks and master classes and helping with the brands, but now this year and the last year, sorry, I've uh, opened up the Summer Hall Drinks Hub, which is a space designed for drinks education, for hosting gin tastings and training sessions for the on trade, uh, and uh, basically just teaching lots of people about tasty drinks. My background is I was a cocktail bartender in Edinburgh for about five years and I really got into the sort of the research, the geeky side of cocktails. Um, I then realised that the late hours weren't for me as I reached my mid-twenties and so I went back to university and last year I graduated with a degree in plant science from Edinburgh Uni. So uh, I went from being a cocktail geek to a plant geek and you find that gin sits very neatly in a Venn diagram between the two. So my role uh, this year at the Juniper Festival is going to be to uh, host and compare the talks that we're going to be doing. Um, and also my role in the Drinks Lab is I'm the host of the Gin Cruises and I also take some of the uh, pairings and tastings that we do here as well. Yes, so Juniper Festival is Scotland's first and original gin festival. It was created in 2014 by, uh, by Martin Duffy and Solid Liquids. Uh, now in that sixth year, as I said, uh, we've continued to evolve the, uh, the format and we're looking forward to our, our best year yet. I've got a selection of uh, established brands, uh, brands that have been exhibiting at the festival before and some new ones as well. So we've got a selection here actually. Uh, so we've got Old Guns, Pickerings and Arbiki, uh, Eden Mill as well as some new kids on our blocks. So we've got Linden Lime, uh, Bigger and Illicit Gin as well. So the festival will run much the same format as last year, so what we want to try and do is try and move away from the, the, the format that a lot of gin festivals have uh, adopted as we are Scotland's first and original festival. Uh, so it's always been a challenge to try and make ours uh, continually stand out as, as the best gin fest. So what we've done, uh, similar to last year, is we have opened up the, the main room here in Summer Hall, which will be, instead of stands and having people behind the stands, we've opened it up a little bit. So there'll be tables around the room, and we've got distillers and brand ambassadors there to talk about their gins, so get the chance to go and, and have a lot of chats and sample the gins. As well as that, we've got our dissection room. Again, like last year, we're painting brands with some of the best bars in all of Scotland. We do create some unique serves, Folk get the chance to come and sample the gins and the, the cocktails uh, and learn a little bit about, uh, about each of the products. So a lot of gin sampling, some amazing drinks from around the, the world uh, and also some of uh, some uh, really interesting talks and masterclasses uh, that Greg will be running. Yeah, so I'll be hosting those on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday and very much in the same vein as the last couple of years we'll have different sessions on how to make the most out of making cocktails at home um, the history of tonic and things like this and the idea is we really want to develop um, our sort of education on drinks that's what we're all about that's what we get a lot of uh, our buzz from so uh, we're hoping to really kind of do a lot of different things with that with different brands this year as well yeah it's a chance for half an hour for folk to sit down and learn a little bit about an aspect of gin they maybe didn't know about before as well as drinking some of the cocktails and gin and tonics during it as well Yes, absolutely. So everyone will get the chance to sample uh, all the gins that we have available to them. And at the end of the day, if they want to purchase any of those bottles, there will be bottle sales run by Royal Mail Whiskies, similar to every other year that we've run the festival. Uh, folks can place their order and pick up the bottles at the end of the session. You can find it on our website, summerholldrinkslab.co.uk. You can follow the links for Juniper Festival there. You can follow us on our social media, uh, on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, at SH Drinks Lab. Uh, and you'll find links for the Juniper Festival through that, as well as the cruises and, uh, and all the other things that would take place in the Drinks Lab as well.